Ron, your partner for excellence. Printing Inks Overview. The following printing processes will be reviewed in the various parts. The following printing processes are silkscreen, letterpress, offset, flexo, gravure, and inkjet. Silk screen, part one. Silk screen printing or mesh printing is a technology that uses a woven mesh to simply apply the ink to the substrate. It has various forms, a flat bed or rotary system. And the flat bed is the oldest form of printing. And the rotary version can, speed, can achieve higher speeds. And often they are seen in combination presses where both rotary screen is combined with other printing processes such as flexo or offset, uh, especially in label machines. As mentioned, it is the oldest printing method, or some believe. It's very useful on many uh, 3D substrates. It's a relatively slow process. It has practically no limits in dimension. There are some very large flatbed screen printing systems. It's relatively easy to handle. It has a high color intensity, and this is relatively low cost and the film thickness is between 12 to 25 microns. The application, it's used in labels, it's used in overprint varnish, especially with high quality in spot printing where you'll get one area of a print with a very very high gloss level. It's used in posters, outdoor posters, uh, it can be used on three-dimensional shapes and it can also be printed on t-shirts and fabrics. The ink, it's a low, low to medium viscosity. It has relatively low reactivity. It has a low pigment load. The intensity of the colour being achieved by the relatively high film weight. There are water-based or emulsion systems being used, especially in the paper poster area. It must have and does have adhesion on various substrates. The ink itself has to have what's known as best air release so that it goes through the mesh without leaving air bubbles, which requires very good flow. And the final ink usually has to have relatively good resistance to both physical, mechanical and chemical. The screen. The screen mesh is dramatically improved and screen sizes have become very very fine indeed and the ink has to be able to release and transition through the mesh. Please note that some screen mesh and or masks can be damaged by some aggressive UV monomers. The squeegee, literally the the mechanism, which is quite sophisticated in some machines, quite simplistic in the diagram here, is what squeezes the ink through the mesh. It can have various types of hardness, it can have various types of material, and care again should be taken that this squeegee is suitable for UV. The variables in the squeegee application can be speed and pressure applied to the mesh. This ends the, the small discussion on silkscreen printing process. Please look for the part two, which will, we will discuss the letterpress printing process. Thank you very much.